All right, guys, new video. What we're gonna do now is going to be to program the wastegate. So for that, remove the little tube here right there. Remove it, loosen this little bolt right here. Then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a vacuum pump and uh, we're gonna plug this in. That's too thick. So let me try to get a thinner one. And we are going to um, uh, set up this at eight, eight, no, it's nine pounds for stage five, eight pounds for stage three is going to be nine pounds for stage five. All right, guys. So what we did after we unscrewed this a little bit to get it loose, we plugged in the vacuum. And now what you will see is once it's going to reach the nine pounds, it will actually move. So there. And eight and nine, almost 10 there. So we're gonna release it a little bit more. It's a little bit a 10. We're gonna make sure that everything is tight and correctly. I'm gonna put it back to eight, nine. Make sure everything is good. I probably did a little bit too much. There you go. Now everything is mounted back. Everything is tied up. Everything is ready. What are we gonna do? We're gonna put back the cover. Here it is. And, oh. Put back the cover in here. We don't need anything else. There we go. And now we're gonna put. I'm gonna put back my bag, and we're gonna go through the map tuner. Now we have finished on that end. What we're gonna do is. We're gonna plug in the map tuner right here. So taking the map tuner, there's two cables that come with it. One, which is the HDMI that plugs into the unit. The other one, which is a USB that plugs into a computer. We're gonna use this one right now. So unplug the HDMI and unplug that into the unit has a port at the bottom sorry i need my second hand there you go port at the bottom i'm gonna unstrap this this is actually really nice quality materials i really like this it's really great good thing is long enough i'm gonna need long cables because i'm gonna have the map tuner installed all over the place now we go under the glove box so i have a couple of accessory ports i'm gonna unplug that and what we're gonna do is pull here this little cable. There we go. And we're gonna plug it in into the map tuner. Once we do that, we're gonna turn it on without, well, put the contact without turning on the engine. There you go. You can see it's turn it on this. I'm going to click on add vehicle. All right, took this to the computer, updated the map tuner, downloaded the different mapping, and now we're gonna be ready to install this on the Maverick.
So here it says everything that it's needed for the mapping. Aquí te dice todo lo que es necesario para el mapeo y todo lo que tienes que hacer para el stage 5. Y de ahí seleccionar download. Yes. Y aquí vamos. Vamos a dejarlo, va a tardar un ratito. Aquí vamos a esperar en lo que se haga y ya que se termine lo checaremos de nuevo. Mientras vamos a instalar lo que es la cajita del otro lado. We're gonna wait until everything is downloaded and installed. It takes several minutes. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to install the holder on the other side. As you can see, it's getting there, but really slow. Hey right, guys, <clears throat> everything is installed and ready. I just need to go get some hardware and put the little tuner will be going right there. I'm going to put it somewhere over there, <clears throat> attached to attached to here, and then probably have the screen right here. So I can see all the info, pressure, etc., etc., on it. There you go. <clears throat> Project Chupacabra is ready. Stage five, ready on it. Can't wait to try it out. I honestly can't wait to try it out. As you can see, I'm going to do the comparison when it was completely stock and now. Even if the video doesn't give <clears throat> enough credit to the sound, you can hear a little bit of the differences, mainly on the turbo. You can actually see that the turbo, now you hear it really well. Before it was really hard to hear. You couldn't hear it before. Now you, you actually hear it absolutely well, which is awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Straight pipe, catalyzer, injectors, Everything on stage five, all good and ready to go. So guys, give me your impressions, what you think. We will do a video once we go to Pismo with this thing and we're gonna try it out and see how it takes, how it takes the dunes. I'm gonna do some more videos, it's not over. <coughs> uh, prepping the can -Am for Pismo with the sand tires, everything's gonna be ready to go. So keep subscribing to the channel, keep Clicking on the little bell a lot of new videos are coming in especially writing now. It's gonna be writing season I'm gonna have a lot of different rides coming up all that's gonna be posted on my channel So keep keep subscribing and stay in touch. You will be able to see all that coming in. Hopefully you guys liked it Thank you for your support. We're gonna be doing some more videos coming up <clears throat> On other installs that we're gonna do as well. I'm probably gonna do some side cameras here for blind spots I'm probably also going to do <clears throat> other light spots and installs on the back. Uh, so stay in touch. We will do a lot of more videos, especially rides and crazy stuff. So all that's coming in. Hopefully you guys like it. We're also going to do some testing on the new Talon coming in. I have a dealer that I'm working with that I'm trying to get and see if we can go try out the new Talon the honda talent and then from there we will start making more videos as well so thank you guys for supporting the channel thank you guys for being around if you have any comments any questions any suggestions on what videos come up uh, let me know we will be posting them as well so see you next time